I thought I had a class. What do you think? So just a number. It makes it look like I did something boring. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say. Hey, what's up, fight fans? Buckle up, because today's video is going to blow your mind. Just when we thought the drama between Gervonta Tank Davis and Floyd Money Mayweather couldn't get any crazier, Tank finally broke his silence on Floyd's latest hospital video. And what he said might just change everything you thought you knew about their beef. If you haven't been following this epic saga, don't worry, I've got you covered. But trust me, you're going to want to hear this one from start to finish. I'm not going to get a freak out. Just a number. It makes it look like I did something boring. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it. So let's rewind a bit. We all know Floyd Mayweather, the undefeated champ, has had his fair share of controversies, but this latest hospital video takes the cake. Just days ago, Floyd posted a video from his hospital bed looking worse for wear. And in typical Mayweather fashion, he had plenty to say. He hinted at betrayal, pain, and unfinished business, all while connected to machines and surrounded by a team of doctors. You could see it in his eyes. Floyd wasn't just hurting physically, this was emotional too. And guess who he pointed the finger at? That's right, none other than Gervonta Davis. Now, you know Tank doesn't usually bite his tongue, but he's been surprisingly quiet since the whole Dubai incident where he allegedly attacked Floyd at the airport. But that all changed when Floyd dropped his hospital video. Tank took to social media with a series of posts that had everyone talking. But it wasn't until he sat down for an interview that we really got the tea. And let me tell you, Tank did not hold back. Tank started by addressing the video head on. He admitted that seeing Floyd in that condition made him feel some type of way but he was quick to shift the blame back on Floyd. According to Tank, the video was nothing more than a sympathy grab. He said, and I quote, Floyd's the master of manipulation. He knew exactly what he was doing with that video. He wants everyone to see him as the victim, but real ones know what's up. Tank didn't just stop here. He even called Floyd out for a match, even though the guy is literally in a hospital. How ironic is that? Tank said, we know it's all fake, I didn't hit you that hard, but we can change that. Be a real man and fight me in the ring. You keep saying you the best, now prove it. It's getting heated by the hour, but here's the juicy part. Did you know both these guys were set to fight each other in September? Yep, you heard that right. Davis himself confirmed it. I wouldn't be surprised if Floyd is faking an injury just to get out of this matchup. You can't blame them. Tank Davis is a KO machine. A new deal, seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney? Yeah. Isak Cruz? Yeah, but there's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence. Outside the ring. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 September. November. Tiafima Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. So. What's really going on between these two? Tank didn't shy away from spilling the details. He confirmed that there was bad blood between them and hinted that it all started when Floyd began mentoring other young fighters, particularly Shakur Stevenson. Tank admitted that seeing Floyd take Shakur under his wing felt like a slap in the face. I was supposed to be the next big thing, the one to carry the torch, Tank said, but instead, He's out here grooming my competition.
But that's not all. Tank revealed that Floyd had been talking sideways about him behind his back, not just to other fighters, but to people in the industry as well. Well, my thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the Internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter, um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. Floyd was trying to undermine him, making it seem like he wasn't ready for the big leagues, like he was still the same kid Floyd discovered years ago. He's been trying to keep me in his shadow, but I'm my own man now, Tank stated in a recent interview. And he's not wrong. Gervonta Davis just secured a deal bigger than Floyd ever did. That says a lot about how far Tank has come. I set you off because you was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Oh. He said. So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you, like oh, like he, he, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me, yeah. and I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah, that's no. what I was thinking. Cause it's, I feel like y'all, y'all got. I would say love hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like you know? Is it just like? Big bro, little bro, seeing things different or what is it? To you? No, he just he, Floyd don't never. He felt as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where as though I passed him, mm. and I and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah, that deal that I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, that's that the, deal, yeah, that's a part of the deal. He he don't know about that yet, mm. but that's bigger than his deal. Damn, wow. <laughs> and y'all just and I'm just releasing. This is exclusive. That's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal. Yeah. Tank don't cap, nigga. That's a lot of bread. You'll see. It's okay. gonna come out. Let's get into the nitty gritty of what went down in Dubai, because this is where things get wild. Rumors have been flying around that Tank attacked Floyd out of nowhere, but Tank's side of the story paints a different picture. According to Tank, it wasn't some random act of violence. This was years of built-up tension finally boiling over. But hey, what Floyd did with Tank a couple of months back, I wouldn't blame Tank for attacking him. Here's why. Gervonta Davis revealed some shocking news. Floyd Mayweather hired guys to jump him while he was out on runs. That's right, the only time Tank is unarmed is when he's out running, and Floyd took advantage of that. Mayweather spied on Tank and even shared his whereabouts with Tank's previous opponent, Frank Martin. Can you believe it? Frank Martin was the one who spilled the beans, but Floyd didn't stop there. Oh no, he went even further. We all know Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather worked together for a long time. If there's one guy who knows all of Tank's moves, it's gotta be Mayweather. And guess what Floyd did next? He outed all of Tank's moves to Frank Martin. That's right, Floyd gave away all of Tank's secrets. And let's just say, Gervonta Davis was not too happy about it. You know he the one. You know he the one told Frank that I was running at five o'clock. I mean seven o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that he was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's uh, drop by while I was uh, running. It's cool. It's, it's all right. I, I don't really think too much of it. He's he not gonna hurt me. You know what I mean? So. It, it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll picture him in bad situations. Another statement was released by Gervonta Davis after the incident in Dubai. Now you can't miss out on what he said because this changes everything. I got to Floyd before he got to me. He had guys spying on me at the hotel. He had some nasty plan in mind. I ain't scared. Bring it on whenever. I saw him at the port, and it was go time. He's all bark and no bite. Gervonta Davis was just trying to look out for himself. And one thing Floyd didn't look out for 
was that scary left hook by Tank that knocked him down. Looks like this Dubai vacation wasn't the peaceful getaway Floyd had in mind. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.